none of us is God. None of us has the omniscience to discern the truth or falsity of every single contested question in American public life or every single complex question that, you know, scientific inquiry is trying to answer. So as messy as it is and as confusing and complicated as it often might be, the best solution is to let every voice be heard and trust the rationality, trust the uh, trust the, the hive mind, if you will, trust the, the basic um, intuition that most Americans most of the time are going to be able to sort through the cacophony of information, hopefully come to, uh, if not the best solutions, at least um, at least avoiding maybe some of the worst solutions or the worst proposals, that the way to correct uh, false information or bad ideas is through reasoned argument and debate and letting letting everyone basically have their say, uh, and then people can use their own wits and their own judgment to discern, yeah, this person is credible and they have the experience, uh, or they're making the case in a way that's most compelling. And, um, and so I'm going to choose to, to trust them as a, as, you know, potentially reliable source of information on A, B, C, or D. That solution um, may not give us the sense of psychological security that, um, you know, if I just trust whatever the CDC says or whatever the state government says, uh, I'm going to be okay. But I think the only alternative to that is really a form of, at the end of the day, it's a form of totalitarianism. 